Jimmy. Jim, Jim, Jimmy. Jim, James, son! We're back with another episode of the Jimmy Jim Jims channel, starring your host, Jimmy Jim Jims. And today, we are here in this place in White Sands, New Mexico, to begin our newest project. Now, I know what you're thinking. You already bought the Toyota, Jimmy. What are you here? Are you here for that Ford Ranger? Uh, no. I am here for a much larger mobile home and or vehicle. So, Jimmy has purchased this uh, 970 square foot thing this abomination of 1970s engineering so yeah it's not going to be a car project this particular episode this is just going to be the walk around project where i show you things that we're gonna have to fix so uh without any further ado and i apologize for the wind noise because there's gonna be some on this windy day let's take a walk around and see what we got going on so the first thing we're going to do is walk up the driveway. Now the driveway is all the way on the other side of the property. I say all the way like it's huge, but it's not. Okay, so we walk past this. You're more than welcome to see that number because it doesn't go to anything anymore. This is the driveway. It goes all the way from here and all the way back there. That shed is gone as far as I'm concerned. Sold. It has one of these weird old 1970s bay windows and a cool old light, which I rather like. It's also got this, um, I think it's called a Palo Verde tree. Very nasty when it comes time for um, allergy season. Very nasty. I'm going to have to start trimming that as it is. It's also got this comically small yard where my dog, um, no doubt, will dig holes everywhere. It's got this rickety old ramp. Wow, there's not much left of that. If I were to lean on that, that would be gone. And it's got a secondary, equally rickety ramp in the back. As you can see, I've already been doing some work this morning, which you will see later in the episode. So Mr. Jimmy has purchased this derelict property to store his cars, do some work, etc., etc. Let's enter the property. You can see there's some new door handles I put on. New door handles there as well. Everything that you see came with the property. The stupid tiles, the tree, that rectangle thing with a hole that somebody kicked in the side of it. This very bad skirting that the owner was very adamant was awesome. Let's go inside and look out the 70s glory of this nasty old place, shall we? So here is the inside of the property. I'm gonna let the door slam itself because it's quite prone to doing that. Here is the 1970s living room. Um, it looks very small on camera. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but it's actually much bigger than you'd expect. Here is the kitchen, which was recently remodeled. Before this, it was like a green 70s color. Thankfully, they've done a remodel on this. Um, there is going to be some work that's going to have to be done. These carpets are disgusting, and I do not go for carpet. That's all going to have to be torn out. It came with a washer and dryer. Isn't that nice? I rather like that. Here is the forward-facing bedroom. And then irritating high-pitched noise coming from this thing. I'm going to have to take that out. Which is, you know what that is. That's a smoke detector, but this one doesn't seem to work. Uh, there's a huge bay window like you saw on the outside. Pretty neat, I like that. It's got like this little concave thing where you could probably sit, although you wouldn't want to considering the age of this property. It's got that, which is, I think this might, yeah, that's built into the wall, that's nice. A little closet filled with some dead people's clothing, amazing. A bathroom with a newly retextured shower uh, surround and supposedly the tub was changed a year and a half ago, but. I would, I question that. Uh, also the roof here, I don't like that. I don't, it's not squishy, I just don't, I don't like that. More wood paneling from 1972, of course. Me, hello me. Uh, this is a cabinet, a medicine cabinet that opens like a trifold. Irritating thing. Old school lamp. So anyway, this is the living room. That's the uh, small bedroom, I guess you'd call it. <laughs> Old school, I guess, a dining nook lamp. Look how rickety this thing is. Very rickety. Came with all the appliances. So that makes me happy. I don't have to buy appliances. Here's our first little bit of issue. The elderly woman who previously lived in this house used to leave this window open 24-7 and as a result has damaged the wood paneling here and possibly the wood behind it. So that will have to be removed. Something was obviously against the wall here. Secondarily, the wood paneling here has chipped because of this leak that was in the roof. The roof was replaced. I did the repairs on it myself. 
but unfortunately the damage has been done here and this whole section of wood paneling will have to be removed unfortunately for me along with this door i don't like the door my very 70s bathroom um i don't know if you can see this like there's me yet again i don't know if you can see this flower pattern and this like translucent thing there's not even a reason for that to be there but it's there a nasty olive green bathtub uh, also with a semi noose around and a nasty olive green sink and a toilet isn't that nice i like the uh linoleum they've put down here and again the ceiling seems to be in good condition here which is good very old fixtures master bedroom mr jimmy's bedroom there is a low spot in the floor right here this will have to all be peeled up and checked because that's not good that means that somewhere under this floor, I struggle to call it a floor, is a mushy spot. Why is there a mushy spot? Who knows? Another one of them damn built-in things in the corner. A much larger closet than the previous bedroom. Copy of Tiny Toons on Laserdisc. Yes, when I was a kid, I watched Laserdisc. That's how old Mr. Jimmy is. Relax. More wood paneling. Again, ceiling is in very good condition here. This one is even more loose. That's going to have to be rectified. And a fuse box sitting on the floor. So um, basically, that's what we're up to. This is going to be the new project that I'm going to be showing you guys is remodeling this, uh, this relic. Oh, and here's the heater. The water heater is outside the property in the driveway towards the back. I'm not going over there. There's a, there's a person of short stature. I don't think it's politically correct to call them midgets anymore. But there is a midget that lives next door that is quite disrespectful, or maybe just out of her mind, I don't know. Anyway, all the cabinets seem to be in good condition. I mean, it was recently remodeled, so why wouldn't I like the lamp? You might recognize that lamp from years ago. One of my first videos had that lamp in it. It came with this microwave, which uh, has no circle piece, you know, a little spinny thing, a little, whatever they call it, a trundle, or I don't know, it's gone. This works fine, I've already tested it. I believe the gas should be on. Well, the gas is on, but the igniters don't seem to be working, which is nice. So there's that. But anyway, not a car, as Mr. Regular would say, not a car. Oh, and it's got floor heating, everyone's favorite stupid thing that's worthless. But anyway, uh, we'll do a little bit more walking around within the course of this video. But uh, there is the main meat and potatoes of the video. So one of the first things that has to happen um, these are these doorknobs. The previous owner just left them like this. There's one all the way in the back door and there's one here in the front. I've already changed this one. So that's working. I did buy the full set for the front and rear doors. Um, it's not that hard really. You just take the two Phillips head screws off and then you take the plate that's on this side off. This plate right here needs to come off. Well, I guess there is no plate. But um, you get the drift. I take these screws, pop it off, put the new ones in, and then I can have my own keys keyed to this door instead of the previous owner who kind of creeps me out. It's probably very important I put these in. So let's get to that. Okay. New doorknobs installed. They lock. This one you got to pull forward to lock. But they lock. It's, that's what matters to me. The one back here is also installed, but not that it's doing anything. Look at the gap in the door there. And uh, not only the gap in the door, but just the, the flimsiness of the door overall. This door is going to have to be changed. There's, there's no two ways about it. But for now, it'll do. Now that those door handles are installed, I think one of the things I'd like to focus on is making a pathway. Let me zoom out. These bricks are just sort of here in a huge pile. And I'd like to make like a little winding pathway that goes to the back for when it rains, because I'm sure when it rains, this becomes muddy. Um, I'm gonna have to check what's in that. Hopefully not a corpse. This looks like the hose thing. That must be the gas meter. So let's get started on putting this in a nice S shape or at least some kind of pathway. So I think for now that about makes it look a little better. Huh? I'm not a big fan to be perfectly honest. I would rather sink them into the ground so they're flush. But for now, just to make the yard look not as ugly, you know, that's going to have to do it. The previous owner came by and dropped off a 17-foot ladder for me. 
which was super nice of her. And there it is. So that's nice. She just gave that to me for free. I can definitely use that. Uh, the reason the oven wasn't working earlier, I forgot I turned off the electricity and how our igniter is going to work without electricity. A fire extinguisher. Look at that. A not good fire extinguisher. That used to be one of Jimmy's jobs was checking these things. I used to be a foreman once upon a time. So nice and clean. Look at that. Oh, it's even got the little cover. These appliances are very well cared for. Someone did not abuse the hell out of these. Makes me very happy. It's got a nice new flute. You know, the vent for the uh, cooking, whatever they call this, a vent. So, you know, that's probably gonna do it for today's little walk around. This is literally just the part one of me showing all of the things that it's going to need. Cause there's stuff like this where the trim is rotted out. But the roof overall seems to be in quite good condition. All these little things you're seeing are like little buttons that hold the paneling up. I did go ahead and install this on the wall, my key hanger and my weird old thing that tells you what the weather is going to be like. Lows in the mid 50s, highs in the lower 80s. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station WXK 25. Broadcast. I like that. It reminds me of Moonrise Kingdom. There's some movies of mine. So we've got a lot of work to do, guys. A lot of work, uh, a lot of cleaning, a lot of fixing. A lot of moving back and forth with the van and all my cars. The Corolla wagon is gone. I'm sure you'll already have known that by the time of this video, but I sold it so that I could have some more money. Why is it green right here? Oh, there's a thing. There's a plant. There's a kudzu or whatever that is creeping up my back wall. And uh, I was told that this was recently installed as of 2021, which is good. Let's see if they marked it. They did not. So it's going to be my fun job to go around and determine what all of these things are connected to. So there you go, guys. This is my next project. Um, there will still be car videos when I get the chance. But for now, you're going to be watching me do this, which is, you know, things like this. How this is the ugliest shower head that God ever created and why someone would use this, I don't know. So... Things like this, you know, little things here and there. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I'm not. I'm typically a guy who fixes homes, but it looks like that's going to be uh, the new thing is me fixing a home. So I will catch you guys soon, hopefully with an update on the home, hopefully with an update on the Corollas. We have a big update on one of the Corollas and a littler update on the other one, and we have some van work to do. So thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate it, and guess what? I will catch you next time. Bye. This must be the uh, internet or cable plug. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, 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 oh my, oh my goodness. Aren't you a funny little fellow?